A microbrewery or craft brewery is a brewery that produces a small amount of beer. Exact definitions vary, but the terms are typically applied to breweries that are much smaller than large-scale corporate breweries and are independently owned. Such breweries are generally characterized by their emphasis on quality, flavor and brewing technique. The microbrewing movement began in the United Kingdom in the 1970s a euro although a tradition of artisan brewing existed in Europe for centuries a euro, and subsequently spread to other countries. As the movement grew and some breweries expanded their production and distribution, the more encompassing concept of craft brewing emerged. A related term, brewpub, refers to a pub or restaurant that brews its own beer for sale on the premises. Origins and Philosophy the term originated in the UK in the late 1970s to describe the new generation of small breweries that focused on producing traditional cask ale. The first successful example of this approach was the Lichborough Brewery founded by Bill Urquhart in 1975 in the Northamptonshire village of the same name. Urquhart had been the final head brewer at the large Phipps Northampton Brewery, when it was closed by owners Watney Mann in 1974 to make way for Carlsberg Group's new UK lager brewery on the site. Alongside commercial beer brewing, training courses and apprenticeships were offered. Many of the movement's early pioneers passed through Lichborough's courses prior to setting up their own breweries. However, award-winning home brewer K. Florian Kulmp wrote in 2008 that the craft beer movement was revived in 1965 a euro subsequent to an earlier American era euro, when Fritz Natrup acquired the Anchor Brewing Company in San Francisco, United States, thereby saving it from closure. Although the term microbrewery was originally used in relation to the size of breweries, it gradually came to reflect an alternative attitude and approach to brewing flexibility, adaptability, experimentation and customer service. The term and trend spread to the U.S. in the 1980s, where it eventually was used as a designation of breweries that produce fewer than 15,000 U.S. beer barrels annually. In a June 2014 interview, the owner of an Oregon, U.S.-based microbrewery explained, you've got to do more than just make great beer. It's really about innovation, creative IT Euro stepping outside the box of traditional beer marketing, while an employee explained that heart and soul is the essence of the operation. Furthermore, microbreweries have adopted a marketing strategy that differs from those of the large, mass-market breweries, offering products that compete on the basis of quality and diversity, instead of low price and advertising. Their influence has been much greater than their market share, which amounts to only 2% in the UK, indicated by the introduction by large commercial breweries of new brands for the craft beer market. However, when this strategy failed, the corporate breweries invested in microbreweries, or, in many cases, acquired them outright. History The turnaround of the Anchor Brewing Company in 1965, after it was acquired by Matic, is considered a turning point for American beer, due to the revival of craft beer in the U.S., where microbrewing boomed after then-President Jimmy Carter deregulated the beer market in 1979. During the same period, others turned to home brewing and eventually a few of these brewers started to produce on a slightly larger scale. For inspiration, they turned to the centuries-old tradition of artisan beer and cask ale production that was continuing in the UK, Germany and Belgium. The new Albion Brewing Company was founded in 1976 and served as a blueprint for American brewers to build small-scale commercial breweries. The popularity of these products was such that the trend quickly spread and a large number of small breweries were founded, often attached to a bar where the product could be sold directly. As microbrews proliferated, some became more than microbrews, necessitating the creation of the broader category of craft beer. American microbrewers typically distribute through a wholesaler in a traditional three-tier system, others act as their own distributor and sell to retailers and or directly to the consumer through a taproom, attached restaurant, or off-premise sales. Because alcohol control is left up to the states, there are many state-to-state -state differences in the laws. Following the federal U.S. government shutdown on October 1, 2013, craft beer producers were forced into an activity lull due to the closure of the Alcohol and Tobacco Tax and Trade Bureau, an arm of the Treasury Department. 
the TTB is responsible for granting approval for new breweries, recipes, and labels. Microbreweries gradually appeared in other countries, such as New Zealand and Australia. In Canada, microbreweries flourished mostly on the West Coast, in Quay Copyright Beck and Ontario, where a large domestic market was dominated by a few large companies. Many of Ontario's microbreweries subsequently formed the Ontario Craft Brewers Association. The UK also has a large number of small commercial breweries making cask ale, the smallest of which are known as microbreweries, and they can be found in small spaces such as domestic garages. In the UK, a lesser divide exists between the microbreweries and the large companies, as breweries of all sizes exist to fill the gap. In Japan, microbrews in the early 1990s, used to be known as Jibaru, or local beer. An early boom in small regional microbreweries followed Japan's 1994 revision of tax laws allowing the establishment of smaller breweries producing 60,000 litres per year. Before this change, breweries could not get a license without producing at least 2 million litres per year. In the late 2000s more well-regarded microbreweries in Japan have chosen to emphasize the term craft beer to mark a break with a short-lived Jibaru boom and emphasize the traditional brewing skills and reverence for ingredients that characterize their products. In Germany, there were 901 small breweries in 2010. The Federal Statistical Office defines a small brewery as a brewery with a production of less than 5,000 hectolitres beer PA. Small breweries pay a reduced beer tax. The total market share of the small breweries is less than 1%. 638 of them have a production even less than 1,000 HLPA and can be considered as microbreweries in a narrow sense. The figures apply to commercial breweries only and do not include hobby brewing. About one-third of the small breweries have tradition going back up to 500 years, most of them in Franconia. About two-thirds were founded in the last 25 years. The vast majority of small breweries operate in combination with a brewpub. In Spain in 2011, the newspaper El Por S reported a revolution is occurring in craft beer, and more recently that by 2013 the trend had extended to the regions of Catalua plus or minus a, Valencia, Por S Vasco and Madrid. In Sweden, microbreweries have existed since around 1995. Today, the market is flourishing with many of the nation's regions and cities having their own breweries, such as Gotland's Bruggeri, Jarkar and Seemdland's Bruggeri and Helsingborg's Bruggeri. Stefan Persson, the CEO of Swedish clothing chain H&M, has his own microbrewery on his estate in England. Craft beer and microbreweries were cited as the reason for a 15 million litre drop in alcohol sales in New Zealand over 2012 with Kiwis opting for higher-priced premium beers over cheaper brands. Microbreweries have also increased in number in Asia. China, the world's largest beer consumer as of July 2013, is home to a growing craft beer market, with brands such as Slowboat Brewery, Shanghai Brewery, and Boxing Cat. Cambodia's first microbrewery, Kingdom Breweries, opened in 2009 and brews dark, pilsner, and lager beers. In Sri Lanka, over strict laws made it almost impossible for any craft beer to be brewed. On the remote east coast, however, a Ragam Bay surfers beer managed to maintain a small, but popular brew pub. Established back in 1977 the Siam View Hotel escaped regulations due to the long civil war and its remoteness. For two years running, the Daily Telegraph Best of British awarded the SVH the Best Pub in Sri Lanka medal. Brewpub Brewpub is an abbreviated term for a a euro a web a euro and a euro a public house a euro. A brewpub can be a pub or restaurant that brews beer on the premises. Some, such as those in Germany, have been brewing traditionally for hundreds of years. Others are modern restaurants. As of July 2013, the number of brewpubs in Shanghai, China has doubled since 2010. Australia they arrived in Australia at the beginning of British colonization. In 2004, Australia was ranked fourth internationally in per capita beer consumption, at around 110 litres per year, though considerably lower in terms of total per capita alcohol consumption. 
the most popular beer style in modern-day Australia is lager. The oldest brewery still in operation is the Cascade Brewery, established in Tasmania in 1824. The largest Australian-owned brewery is the family-owned Coopers, as the other two major breweries, Foster's and Lion Nathan are owned by the British South African Sibmila and the Japanese Kirin Brewing Company respectively. Foster's Lager is made mostly for export or under license in other countries, particularly the UK. Canada In Canada, around the late 1980s early 1990s, changes in outdated liquor control laws allowed Paul Hatfield, a former architect, to open the Spinnaker's Gastro Brew Pub and Guest House in Victoria, British Columbia. Hatfield then expanded into brew-inspired jellies, chocolates, baked goods and vinegars. The Firkin Group of British brew pubs then opened in Toronto, Ontario in 1987, by two South African entrepreneurs, Stanley Adelson and Ian Fisher Euro in 2014, 32 location exists throughout the province of Ontario. According to its corporate documentation, the Firkin brew pubs are modelled after the traditional neighbourhood British pub, and sell craft beers such as Butler's Pale Ale and Creamore Springs Premium Lager. China. General beer consumption reached 50 million litres in early 2013 and an increasing interest in craft beers developed accordingly. The Great Leap Brewing Company is one example of numerous microbreweries that have been recently established, with a localization strategy leading to the use of traditional Chinese ingredients and spices in the Beijing brand's beer production process. China's largest brew pub is located in Shizhou and is managed by the Taiwanese brewing company La Ble Dog while craft beer consumers are both expats and native Chinese. France In France, a chain of American-style brew pubs operate under the name Les Three Brosseurs. There is also a chain of about seven brew pubs called Frog and Roast Beef, which blend British and French traditions. The pubs are decorated in a broadly British style, and serve a selection of ales, stouts and wheat beer. Germany Whereas in other countries, Microbreweries and brewpubs have risen in reaction to the mass production and marketing of beer. In Germany, the traditional brewpub or brewhaus remains a major source of beer. This is mainly true for the south of Germany, especially the state of Bavaria. Upper Franconia, a district in the region Franconia in the north of Bavaria, has the highest density of breweries in the world. Upper Franconia has about 1 million inhabitants and circa 200 breweries. Many of them are microbreweries or brew pubs. Thailand, following the introduction of American microbrews in 2012, the popularity of craft beer bars in Thailand are Euro primarily Bangkok a Euro increased fairly rapidly and in January 2014, the fourth global location of Danish microbrewery Mikkeller was launched in Bangkok. The brand partnered with an already established beer distribution company and seeks to capitalize on the higher earning capacity of Thai people in the second decade of the 21st century, as well as tourists. At the opening, one of the owners explained, And we thought it was about time to elevate the level of craft beer available in Thailand and, hopefully, expand throughout Southeast Asia. A total of 30 beers are served at the venue including two microbrews exclusive to Thailand. United Kingdom Before the development of large commercial breweries in the UK, beer would have been brewed on the premises from which it was sold. Alewives would put out a sign a euro a hot pole or ale wonder euro to show when their beer was ready. The medieval authorities were more interested in ensuring adequate quality and strength of the beer than discouraging drinking. Gradually men became involved in brewing and organized themselves into guilds such as the Brewers Guild in London of 1342 and the Edinburgh Society of Brewers in 1598. As brewing became more organized and reliable many inns and taverns ceased brewing for themselves and bought beer from these early commercial breweries. However, there were some brew pubs which continued to brew their own beer, such as the Blue Anchor in Helston, Cornwall which was established in 1400 and is regarded as the oldest brew pub in the UK. In the UK during the 20th century, most of the traditional pubs which brewed their own beer in the brew house round the back of the pub, were bought out by larger breweries and ceased brewing on the premises. By the mid-1970s, only four remained, All Nations, The Old Swan, The Three Tons and The Blue Anchor. 
The trend toward larger brewing companies started to change during the 1970s, when the popularity of the campaign for real ales campaign for traditional brewing methods, and the success of Michael Jackson's World Guide to Beer encouraged brewers in the UK, such as Peter Austin, to form their own small breweries or brew pubs. In 1979, a chain of UK brew pubs, known as the Firkin Pubs, started, running to over 100 at the chain's peak. However, the chain was sold and eventually its pubs ceased brewing their own beer. Some British brew pubs specialize in ale, while others brew continental lagers and wheat bears. The Ministry of Ales, Burnley. The Mason's Arms in Headington, Oxford. The Brunswick Inn, Derby. The Watermill Pub, Inns Cumbria. And the Old Cannon Brewery, Berry Street Edmonds are some examples of small independent brew pubs in the UK. The city of Bristol was identified by the Guardian publication in May 2014 as an area where the microbrewery industry had flourished. Ten brew pubs, such as the Tobacco Factory, Copper Jack's Craft House and the Urban Standard, were identified as thriving Bristol craft beer establishments. United States Interest spread to the U.S., and in 1982, Grant's Brewery Pub in Yakima, Washington was opened, reviving the U.S. brewery taverns of well-known early Americans as William Penn, Samuel Adams and Patrick Henry. Growth was initially slow a year the fifth U.S. brew pub opened in 1986, but the growth since then has been considerable. The Brewers Association reports that in 2012 there were 2,075 regional craft breweries, microbreweries and brew pubs in the U.S. Craft brewing. Craft brewing is a more encompassing term for developments in the industry succeeding the microbrewing movement of the later 20th century. The definition is not entirely consistent, but it typically applies to relatively small, independently owned commercial breweries that employ traditional brewing methods and emphasize flavor and quality. The term is usually reserved for breweries established since the 1970s but may be used for older breweries with a similar focus. Craft brewing is most established in the U.S., where changes to U.S. law laid the foundations for the expansion of craft brewing. The 1978 Carter Home Brewing Law allowed for small amounts of beer and wine, and, in 1979, Carter signed a bill to deregulate the brewing industry, making it easier to start new breweries. Although, states could still enact local restrictions. As a result of deregulation, home brewing became a popular hobby in the 1980s and 1990s, and, in the mid-1990s, home brewers launched business ventures based on home-based hobby brewing. In 1979-89 breweries existed in the U.S. A Euro The Brewers Association reports that in March 2013 a total of 2,416 U.S. breweries were in operation, with 2,360 considered craft breweries. Additionally, craft brewers sold more than 15.6 million barrels of beer, which represented approximately 7.8% of the U.S. market by volume. In 2007 the largest American craft brewery was the Boston Beer Company, makers of Samuel Adams. The Brewers Association defines American craft brewers as small, independent and traditional small is defined as an annual production of 6 million barrels of beer or less. Independent is defined as at least 75% owned or controlled by a craft brewer. And traditional is defined as brewing in which at least 50% of the beer's volume consists of traditional or innovative ingredients. This definition includes older microbreweries, which traditionally produce small quantities of beer, as well as other breweries of various sizes and specialities. The Brewers Association defines four markets within American craft brewing, microbreweries, with an annual production less than 15,000 U.S. beer barrels. Brew pubs, which sell 25% or more of their beer on site. Regional craft breweries, which make between 15,000 U.S. beer barrels and 6 million U.S. beer barrels, of which at least 50% is all malt or contains adjuncts that are used only to enhance flavor. And contract brewing companies, which hire other breweries to make their beer. In March 2014, the Brewers Association updated the definition of craft beer to remove any references to the use of adjuncts in the brewing process. The change allows long-established breweries, such as Youngling, to be defined as craft beer. 
the BA statement read. The idea that brewers who had been in business for generations didn't a euro unregistered trademark T qualify as a euro o a traditional a euro simply did not cohere for many members. Brewers have long brewed with what has been available to them. The revised definition also provides room for the innovative capabilities of craft brewers to develop new beer styles and be creative within existing beer styles. The revised definition removes the subjective assessment by Brewers Association staff of whether adjuncts a Euro OEN and say Euro or a Euro OE light a Euro flavor in a particular beer. The BA decision also included an updated mission statement and market share goals for the industry. Association members committed to strive for a goal of 20% market share by the year 2020 and Gary Fish, owner of Destutes Brewery and 2014 chair of the BA board, explained. The 20 by a 20 euros objective is an aspirational goal for our craft community, with an inspiring symmetry. E a euro unregistered trademark M convinced this goal is within our reach if we, as an industry, continue to focus on our strengths and passions a euro making and delivering high quality, innovative, full flavored beer to craft beer enthusiasts. Additionally, by noting a commitment to quality and clarifying the place of home brewers and brewing enthusiasts, we further acknowledge the critical role each plays in the health and growth of the craft brewing industry. According to Russ Phillips, author of Canned Artwork of the Modern American Beer Can, the use of cans by craft brewers in the U.S. has doubled since 2012, with over 500 companies using cans to package their beverages. Previously associated with the major brewing corporations, cans are now favored by craft brewers for numerous reasons. Can beer cools more quickly. Beer degrading light does not affect can beer. Can beer is more portable and less room is required for storage or transportation. And cans have a greater surface area for wraparound designs and decorations. A representative of the Reinergeist Craft Brewery, based in Cincinnati, Ohio, U.S. explained in June 2014 that the perception that bottles lead to a taste that is superior to canned beer is outdated, as most aluminum cans are lined with a polymer coating that protects the beer from the problematic metal. However, since drinking directly from a can may still result in a metallic taste, most craft brewers recommend pouring beer into a glass prior to consumption. In June 2014, the BA estimates 3% of craft beer is sold in cans, 60% is sold in bottles, and kegs represent the remainder of the market. Nana Brewery, the website the food section defines in Nana Brewery is a scaled-down microbrewery, often run by a solo entrepreneur, that produces beer in small batches. The U.S. Department of the Treasury defines Nana Breweries as very small brewery operations that produce beer for sale. See also List of microbreweries, List of public house topics Microdistilling, references. External links, brewpubs at DMOZ.